Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I do have a different background today. Do you prefer it? Do you not? Let me know. Um, so today I thought I'd do a massive feel unique order and haul because I ordered loads of things from there. Things that I've been putting off buying for a very long time or things that people recommend 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 recommended to me like other youtubers and i thought i'd try them so i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you can see new videos that i upload every single saturday so let's jump straight into it so everything that i'm wearing today is actually everything from a lot of it is from what i've ordered um it literally came to my door when um i was putting my foundation off on. So I got rid of my foundation and used all the products that I have got, or quite a few of them. So this is something that I'm wearing today and it's the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. Now I thought I would try and see what I thought about it um, and so far I really like it. It went on really well, it's quite um, watery so you do have to be careful um, but it does mean you don't have to use as much of the product. So I got this in the colour Golden Ivory and I will also leave how much everything was like on the screen as you guys know because off the top of my head I cannot remember so yes this was exciting <laughs> this is this is something that I'm really excited for so a brand that I've really wanted to get my hands on for a while but just been putting it off is the sleek range or some of the sleek products loads of people have been raving on about the contour kit and the highlight kit so they are a couple of things that I have got but also in the sale there was the sleek makeup oil free creamed powder foundation so i thought i would try it and see what i thought about it um so this is in the shade shell 465 and i haven't tried this yet but from what i looked at and tried on my skin um it looks like the perfect color for me there is a little bit of like a scrape mark where i haven't tried it but i'm excited to try it and see what it looks like on my skin so the next thing I picked up was the contour cream, um, sorry, the cream contour kit light and I am really excited about this. I did try it today and I am in love with it. Um, so this was about £10 I think and it comes with instructions on how to do it if you're a newbie like I, were at, well, I am. Um, I have never tried doing contour before. Um, obviously I can do bronzer and highlight but apart from that I'm not very good. Um, but I'm really proud of how it came out and I'm really enjoying my makeup today. So this is what it looks like and it's really cool um, and creamy which is awesome because before I find cream stuff on my skin doesn't look great but I'm really impressed. It told me like how to do it all um, and yeah I'm really impressed. Definitely would say use a angle brush though um, because it can be quite difficult to use it with like your fingers. I did try that because um, some of my brushes were dirty but I will get on to how I did it in a second. So the next thing I tried was the highlight palette kit. Everyone has been talking about this so I was like what? what? Why not? Let's get my hands on it. The brush is missing, it's on the floor so don't worry. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is so pigmented. It's unbelievable. Uh, so I'm so excited to try this tomorrow on my skin. Um, and yes, so you get one cream and three um, just normal shades. But these two, I am, the only annoying thing about this product is the lid doesn't go all the way back. Uh, these two, I'm so excited to try them. So I'll definitely have to do like a review on um, the sleek products if that's what you would like. Um, because I am definitely getting into my makeup more recently. And the last thing I picked up from Sleek was something that I wanted to try for a while and it's one of their blushes. Now I don't have any blushes on their own um, so I was excited to try this. Now it's really difficult to get into this packaging, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Here we go. Um, so this is in the colour pick pixie pink so it's a metallic pink which you'd think is crazy but actually once you put it on and then you blend it with a blending brush it calms down a lot so i have actually got this on today um and i think this was like 4.99 so it's not overly expensive either 
So this is something I have seen for a while and you guys know how much I rave on about the Tanya Burr collection. I love it so much. Um, so this was in the sale and I was like, no, I can't not buy it. Um, so I got the Tanya Burr Cosmetic Rose Flush Cheek Palette. You guys know how much I love the other one. Um, so this is what it looks like. You get the bronzer, the highlights and the blush. And I am so excited to get my hands on this. I think this was like £4.99 in the sale and they're originally £7.99. Um, so whether they are discontinuing them, I have no idea. But I was really excited to try this. Or well, I am very excited to try this. And something else that I got in the sale was one of her Christmas ranges. Now I wanted to try her Christmas range. But I didn't really want to spend loads of money because I spent loads on the Zoella ranges. So I picked up the Tiny Bear Cosmetic Pretty Unstoppable Create a Stunning Makeup Looks on the Go, which sometimes I may have to do if I'm running late for college. So this is what it looks like, and this was $7.99. Um, so you get four eyeshadows, which I've never tried any of her eyeshadows. So if I like these, I might actually go out and buy some more of the um, eyeshadows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You get a blush and a highlight, and you also get the Martha Moo uh, Matte Lips Gloss, which I am actually wearing today, and I'm really impressed with it. Loads of people have been talking about it. Um, so to get my hands on this, um, and to realise it was in the Martha Moo, I was really excited, because I didn't realise it until it came. I knew it came with a lip gloss, but didn't realise it was the lip mattes that she had. So yeah. I'm excited to try that. And so the last thing I got from her range was on a little bit of a spree. I didn't really need to get it, but it was in the sale. So this is the uh, lip gloss, just the normal lip glosses. And this is in the shade Picnic in the Park. And I have heard loads of good things about the Picnic in the Park one. Um, so yeah, why not try it? And I don't even think I realised it was the Picnic in the Park. I just saw the colour and shoved it in my basket because that's what I do um so yeah I'm excited to try this um so yeah and something else from another youtuber which I have had a couple of her things before um and this was in the sale and I know loads of people have actually been picking it up it's the Fleur de Force uh eyeshadow quad try quad um so you get four eyeshadows I am wearing this today it's beautiful um and it does come with like a really annoying um like brush which i am never gonna use so anyway it's gonna stay there but yeah you get a glitter you get two glitters and sort of two normal shades um and it's really cute and adorable and i think this was like one pound 40 something which is amazing for an eyeshadow so the next couple of things i got were from rimmel new um no, not Rimmel, Maybelline New York, and these are things that people have been talking about and I just haven't tried. You guys know how much I hate my mascara, so I thought why not buy a new one. Um, so this is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Mascara, loads of people have been raving on about this and how good it was. Um, I think this was like 7 if I'm correct. Um, I love the application, I love how it looks on my lashes. Um, today so I'm excited to try this out a little bit more um, and see what everyone else has been raving on about and I picked up another concealer um, this is the Erase the Eye Perfect Glow Concealer Light and I have tried this before I used one of my friends and I really liked it I've been meaning to pick it up for a really long time um, for probably about a year and I just haven't done it um, so I picked this up and I'm excited to try it. I liked how it went on this morning. And also I want to try the collection one. Because everyone else has been raving on about that. But they don't have the collection range on the Feel Unique website. Which is such a shame. Or I don't think they do when I looked. Um, so yeah I just picked this up. Moving on to brushes. Now I picked up a couple of things that I have been putting off. And so many people have been talking about. So I was like okay fine Ella you need to just go and do it. Um, so I picked up the Real Techniques Sponge Beauty Blender and I love it. It is quite firm on the skin but the way my foundation went on this morning was 
awesome it was so smooth not clumpy nothing um so i am excited to try this if also if you're not 100 percent sure put some water on it um and that does help and also i picked up the angle brush foundation brush but i think i'm gonna save this for my contour more because i do have the sponge um just because it helped me do my contour this morning so yes i think i'm gonna save that for that and finally for products this was something that was i've wanted to try for a long time but i have super sensitive skin on my face so i was a little bit like skeptical to try it so i thought why not try this this is the yes to coconut range now i they had a cucumber and tomato one which straight away i was a bit like mm, don't think that's a good idea so i picked up the coconut one i'm not a massive fan of coconut scent stuff but yes too i've heard so many good things about and i have definitely wanted to try it so i thought why not pick it up so it comes in this cute box this is so cute you actually have to like open it i feel like i'm opening another parcel let's open it so i'm gonna put it straight away in the drawer anyway and i finished not the end of the world oh it's a sticky box oh so it comes like oh well that went well didn't it so it comes like this this is one of their christmas ranges uh christmas like collections um stay in so yes um so i'm excited to try it and see if i have an allergic reaction i'm hoping i'm not um let's smell it quickly Oh, it's got one of these annoying... I'm not going to open it, wait. So this is meant to prevent to instant hydrate. So this one is to help dry skin. Um, I don't know whether, like, the other ones are for different things. But I do suffer with really dry skin. Um, and I needed some more... Oh, my God. It smells so so good of coconut i'm not a massive fan of coconut scents but this smells bloody awesome um so this will help me to when i take my makeup off i'll just use one of these um and um will hydrate my skin which is perfect for someone with the type of skin i have and you also get a dry skin ultra hydrate cream uh cleanser which is also really cool because again i get really sensitive skin and dry skin um so i'm hoping this is going to be okay i have used coconut before i think um so i should be okay and it won't have any harsh chemicals in i don't think um so if you used the yes two before and you have sensitive skin let me know i think i will probably do like a review the lighting has gone crazy i've just realized um so yeah i will let you know how i got on with this definitely and because i spent too much money i got some because i spent way too much money i got some samples so i got the dhc deep cleansing oil um samples so you get a deep cleanser let me just turn the saturation down quickly so you guys can actually see this um, there we go um so you get a deep cleansing oil you also get a skin coat something i don't know what that is a facial scrub and extra nighttime moisturizer which i'm excited to try and because you get two samples i also picked up the bioderma cream which uh loads of people have been talking about um so i've tried picked up this as well also you can do a pick and mix now i have got some of those things coming in the post so i might just do like another uh video on it or if it does come in the next couple of days which i don't think it will do um i will talk about it but actually um i'm not sure if you want me to do like a pick and mix um first impressions then let me know but it hasn't come with this order because I did it not with this order. If I had done it in the same order, it would have come, but I didn't because I'm a slowly person. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys. So today I thought I'd talk about my condition and how long it's taken me to be diagnosed and what my condition incurs and who else can be affected. So my condition is ME 
Um, I have been, literally was diagnosed two weeks ago. Um, but I have known for the last two years that I've had ME. Um, some of you guys may have seen the video that I uploaded of me crashing on my bed. I have actually now made that video private. Um, just because I was doubting myself whether that was actually what was going on. Um, but I now have had the official diagnosis of it. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to start from the beginning where it all came around. So this could be quite a long video. Um, I'm not sure how much of it I'm actually going to edit or if I'm just going to put it up. Um, without editing, we will see. Um, so back in 2014 or beginning of 2015, I went to see a rheumatologist and I went to my local physio who I'm not going to use their real names so I'm going to give them different names just to try and make it a little bit easier. So um, my local physio Lucy was, um, I had mentioned about having uh, a family history of high mobility um, and she looked at my joints and was like yeah maybe. So she then asked my doctor to do a referral to see a rheumatologist. Um, so I ended up going to see a rheumatologist about um, my hypermobility and the rheumatologist had then diagnosed me with hypermobility. In that appointment there was another physio who 